Good evening! Tonight we'll answer the most pressing questions going on in your manipulated mind. Like, what's going on with the pandemic? Did it accidentally end? What's the latest? And where is Anthony Fauci? It seems like he disappeared. We'll answer all these questions while making you less of a person tonight. Let's get into it. After two years of appearing weekly in major mainstream media mind manipulation outlets, Dr. Fauci has seemingly disappeared altogether from the public spotlight. Why? I mean, he is a man altruistically informing the nation about the science on a very serious topic. They couldn't just remove him and his great contributions from the equation. That would put hundreds of millions of lives at risk. Well, it turns out the tyrants use their useful idiots until such idiot no longer furthers their cause. They'll then dispose of them, as these people do not function on loyalty, honesty, and love. They function on manipulation, deception, and control. And as Fauci now replaces Where's Waldo as the most hidden person in the world, Ohio Congressman Jim Jordan has called for an investigation into Fauci if the Republicans regain the majority in November's elections. And I'm sure they will, as we have such fair elections that the side that keeps winning has all but outlawed free speech that questions election integrity. So you know it'll be a fair election. But what would they investigate Anthony Fauci about? Like, are they accusing him of protecting the public too well? Well, believe it or not, no. In Jim Jordan's words, they would investigate all the lies, the misinformation, and the disinformation from Dr. Anthony Fauci and the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention with regards to the 19 pandemic. Translated, I think that means they'd investigate him for putting the public's interest ahead of his own best interest because the guy is so selfless. I just hope he sold all his Moderna stock last week before it crashed. When someone commits a crime, have you ever heard the authorities tell them, you have the right to remain silent because anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law? So I think we can expect Dr. Anthony Fauci to remain real quiet. On with the bigger picture. Unfortunately, at this point in time, people are no longer tolerating the lies after two years of fear-mongering. So what have we learned? Well, the primary lesson is that the circadian rhythm of sheep are such that they fall asleep for two years and then they wake up. What remains to be seen is, how long will they stay awake for? We don't know yet, but we're doing our best to sedate you back to sleep. Just think about Ukraine and Russia, and a cyber attack is coming. And I think we're gonna do another pandemic. Right, Bill? Well, we'll have another pandemic. Can't wait. In other useless news, the useless Biden administration is focusing on a test to treat campaign, which involves giving people an antiviral pill when they test positive for the virus. I didn't know they could deliver nanotechnology through pill form now. I guess so. Beautiful advances in human control technology. I mean, medical technology. The pill is made by criminal organization Pfizer, and due to a rather nasty case of mass formation psychosis, 30% of the population blindly trusts the company with their lives. Good for business and good for the bottom line. But is it good for your health? Well, we censor all information that suggests not. So yes. It is good for your health. After refusing to release safety and effectiveness data on, you know what, a court has ordered the FDA to release the first 10,000 pages of a total of 400,000 pages on Pfizer's product. What's it reveal? Well, for obvious reasons, we're not gonna tell you. But in other news, click the link in the description of this video for our full report on the safety and effectiveness data from the Flotation Device Administration on life jackets. Your risk of drowning has never been more irrelevant. Click the link for everything we don't want you to know. As I shuffle these papers around, you can get excited about what I'm gonna say next. A recent poll has alerted the Democrats that after two years, people are fed up with hysteria. And with the 2022 midterms coming up, 
They know that the right thing to do is to pretend the science has changed. The firm that ran the poll, Impact Research, wrote a letter to the Democrats explaining how to improve their polling. In it, they said, declare victory over COVID and move on. They also instructed the Democrats to do the following strategies to win the 2022 midterms. I mean, serve the public better. Declare the crisis phase of COVID over and push for feeling and acting more normal. Recognize that people are worn out and feeling real harm from the years long restrictions and take their side. The poll pointed out that twice as many people are concerned with the Democrats' COVID policies negatively affecting the economy than they are with someone in their family getting infected with the virus. Let's not think about what the real pandemic is. People being concerned with reality rather than being concerned with the narrative is not successful fear-mongering. We need to do better, guys. Their letter to the Democrats based on the poll and how to win the midterms goes on. The more we talk about the threat of COVID and onerously restrict people's lives because of it, the more we turn them against us and show them we're out of touch with their daily realities. It's fascinating that the authoritarians are so oblivious to reality that they needed to be told this. Ha <laughs> ha! And speaking of the inevitability of getting the virus, they said, most Americans are no longer fearful. And that's disappointing because controlling people with fear mongering works so much better when people are afraid. The firm also instructed the Democrats, stop talking about restrictions and the unknown future ahead. If we focus on how bad things still are and how much worse they could get, we set Democrats up as failures unable to navigate us through this. Now let's get this straight, Democrats aren't failures, they're losers. So let's mentally manipulate the public so no one gets confused. And finally, the polling firm instructed the Democrats that the science has changed as follows. If Democrats continue to hold a posture that prioritizes COVID precautions over learning how to live in a world where COVID exists, but does not dominate, they risk paying dearly for it in November. Ha ha ha, that's great. But what does the pandemic's chief extermination officer have to say about it all? What is the downside of wearing a mask? I mean, it's got to be tough. You know, you have to wear pants. Uh, I mean, this is tough stuff. These societies are so cruel. Why do they make you wear pants? I'm trying to figure it out. Uh, <laughs> we, we're very glad you have yours on. Belittling people for not wearing a mask while he's not wearing a mask? Perfect. And I can't figure out why people don't trust him. And what a witty analogy for a man known for his sense of humor. Wearing pants? You're right, Bill. That's not very tough. But according to allegations from your former employees, Bill, you had a tough time keeping your pants on. So maybe wearing masks and pants isn't as easy as you say. That's it for today's pandemic update. We're gonna claim victory over the wolf we cried about for two years. Fauci's gonna social distance himself from the public until the Clinton body count goes up by one more, and we're gonna start prepping our narrative for Bill's next pandemic. And in the meantime, enjoy believing that the evil plot has been defeated as it was just our opening move. We're just getting started, if you know what I mean. And you willingly giving up your freedoms is the only way terror can win. So you should start getting ready to learn new ways is how you can protect yourself by giving up more of your freedoms. Tune in tomorrow night as we burn the Bill of Rights and get you to cheer for it. Please go back to sleep. Good night.